everyone, so in today's video I am going to be doing my first impression of some different Wet n Wild products. I have been on the hunt for really good drugstore products and I just did a makeup haul that I will have listed down below for you guys. The majority of those products were by Wet n Wild and I am really, really impressed with what I have seen in regards to all of these different Wet n Wild products. So if you guys want to see which products I did my little first impressions on, then just keep watching. Alright, so the very first product that we're going to go in with is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Match SPF 15 Liquid Foundation. And right now, I think I'm in the shade Nude, so we're going to give this a shot and hopefully it'll be a match because I do have work today and I don't want to have to take off my makeup. <laughs> so I really, really like this product just at first glance because... It's in a very luxurious heavy weighted glass bottle and again this was only like $4.99 at the drugstore and so it feels very luxurious um, packaging wise and whenever I played with the color it seemed um, you know to blend out really really nicely. It does not have a pump so I'm just going to be putting little dots on my face. Um, you know hopefully this will, I think this is probably, I'm just going to put it on my sponge so I can try to get more product out. Okay, I am finding that it's like really hard to get this product out. Um, it's like not coming. This is really weird. I've never had this problem before. All right, be right back because I'm gonna go and get a Q-tip or something that I can get the product out with. Okay, so I got some little Q-tips and I'm just going to dig ooh, in there and now it's coming out and kind of swipe it onto my face so then I can blend it out afterwards. I have no idea if this is like full coverage or what is going on, but I guess we'll find out, right? So first impression so far, I really don't like the fact that I have to do that to get the product out but hopefully it will be worth it. I mean, that's honestly not a huge deal if you're paying like $4.99 for a foundation. I can live with that if the product itself is really nice. I am using a damp beauty sponge to blend this out just because that is my preference when I am trying out new foundation so I can kind of just see how it sits. Okay. So it definitely seems to have light to medium coverage. Granted, I usually always go in like pretty heavy with my foundations, but since I wasn't able to get a ton out, I wasn't really able to do that. But it seems to be blending out very nicely. It looks like it's a perfect match to my skin, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and see how buildable the coverage is. So I'm gonna dip a little more in there. Ah, this is so intimidating. Okay. Well, it's definitely buildable for sure so I would say that this foundation would definitely be good for like everyday use if you're looking for just like a light foundation but it is buildable so you know for those nights out and stuff like that or if you have more acne prone skin and you want to cover up your blemishes like my acne is really coming through right now not through the foundation, but my skin's really acting up. Okay. So I really, really like how this is setting. It's not really setting in my fine lines or anything like that. It just really sits nicely on top of the skin. It honestly just looks like my skin. It looks really, really nice. Okay. So this is what the foundation looks like so far. The next product that I'm going to go in with is the concealer. 
and this one is the Wet n Wild Coverall Liquid Concealer Wand. I showed this in my recent haul, so it just has a little wand like this, and I will be using this to go underneath my eyes. Okay, it's very thick. It kind of reminds me whenever I use the um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. That's what the consistency reminds me of. You guys are familiar with that. I don't use that anymore though because they test on animals. And then I'm going to be using it as my eyeshadow primer. So right now it feels very, very luxurious. Like it just feels super creamy. I am having to like go into the container a couple of times just because the wand is a little short and stubby so it's not picking up a ton of product and I tend to go a little more heavy handed with my concealer because I have dark circles but let's see how it blends out okay I do like the color specifically for highlighting what is this um, it's just shade light for my skin tone it should it's just light enough to where it gives a little bit of an uplifted effect but it's not too light to where it's like oh girl you know all right so it definitely feels a little tacky in the sense of I'm having to work it a little bit to blend it out with the damp beauty sponge but it's covering very very well I'm really impressed with the coverage okay so this is what it looks like and it's very dewy given that I am using a damn beauty sponge always keep that in mind how you apply your foundation what tools you use that's also going to help um, in terms of what kind of finish you're wanting so if you're wanting more hydrated look go with the damn beauty sponge and if you're wanting something more matte with just a normal natural finish foundation then go with a brush so it seems to be setting pretty well the next product I'm going to go in with is the Mega Glow Contouring Palette right here. I'm not going to be using the contour side. I am going to be using the highlighting shade right now though. So I'm going to see how this works in terms of setting that under eye concealer. It definitely is a really, really pretty shade. So we shall see. Okay, this is giving a really, really beautiful finish. It's matting everything out just like my City Color um, translucent powder. And it's not too light again to where it's really, you know, stark white underneath the eyes. We don't want that. So it's definitely setting very well. And the concealer is not creasing at all. I do have a problem with that sometimes, but this one is not creasing. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the, um, what am I trying to say? The shade. <laughs> this shade right here. Okay. So I really, really love this so far. I'm going to go ahead and use my um, City Color HD powder just to um, put it all over the rest of my face so I can go in with my um, bronzer in just a second so I'll be right back so I can do that okay so the next product I'm going in with is the color icon bronzer and this one is in the shade ticket to Brazil 739 so I was raving about this in my haul the other day just because I love how big the compact is and again it's so affordable I think this was like 198 or 298 something around there and I love it because it does have a little bit of luminosity to it so it's not just a matte bronzer it does have a little bit of shimmer and sparkle but it's not like those big chunks of glitter so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try it does seem to be very pigmented so I'm impressed by that already there's a lot on my brush I'm just lightly dusting this onto the cheek area and it definitely is a beautiful color if you guys are picking that up it's just adding 
a little bit of a sun kiss, sun kiss glow. I'm really liking this, you guys. It's not too much, but it's not not pigmented, if you know what I'm saying. So you're definitely getting color. I apologize, my camera is acting like a hot mess right now. Keep saying like recovering data and stuff like that. So I don't know what's going on, but we're just gonna roll with it. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my neck because even though my chest will be tan like my face, my neck is always pale. And so sometimes it looks like weird. I don't know, it just looks weird. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer to my neck so everything is matching nicely. So I'm really, really liking this. I know I'm going like super bronzer happy right now, but I am really, really liking this product. It blends out very, very nicely, and it does have a little bit of that luminosity to it to where it's not just really, really matte. So yeah. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. I'm going to do my eyes my blush and stuff like that, and then I'm going to come back and do the mascara as the last, last step. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is the Mega Impact Mascara. In the packaging, the outside packaging, um, made the claim that it's supposed to increase your lash length and volume by like eight times or something like that. So I really, really love this wand. It looks like this. It's very full. It's natural bristle, and it does have the... Um, what's it called it like goes around I, I don't know so I already uh, curled my eyelashes and now I'm going to go ahead and apply the mascara so it's not a super wet mascara which is not oh, of course I already got freaking mascara like right there this always happens to me you guys I'll have to fix that but it's not super wet and it's not super dry I'm really really liking it if you guys are able to see this I think you can in the camera but it's really really nice it's not super clumpy but it's definitely adding a lot of volume and length to my lashes so this is the difference as you can see here this one is definitely more volumized and a lot longer than these lashes over here just gonna add a little bit more Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lashes. Okay, so this is what the mascara looks like. This is the eye that doesn't have any mascara. I really, really like this mascara, you guys. Like, it is awesome I really really love it I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat just for some added drama to see kind of how it does with clumping and stuff like that okay I'm not even really seeing clumping so this mascara I believe costs $3.99 not even kidding you and I think their cheapest mascara costs like $1.99 or something like that so this is what it looks like with the second coat it definitely adds a lot more volume I am obsessed like I am officially a believer in wet and wild mascara um, I know a lot of people have raved about it specifically Elle Fowler I don't know if you guys watch her videos but she's always raved about wet and wild mascara and I'm officially a believer so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this eye and then I will do my final impression all right you guys so this is the final look I am honestly obsessed so I'm gonna go from top to bottom starting with the foundation I absolutely love this foundation it is setting so so nicely it blended out really really beautifully and thank God it was the perfect match skin type white or skin tone wise wow oh my god um so i really really love it again it's a very luxurious packaging it's made of glass and it is completely full um the only downside to this i would say is trying to get it out maybe i'm just not doing it right 
maybe I'm supposed to only like pour a little bit instead of like completely turning it over so it doesn't get stuck but yes huge fan of this now the next thing is the concealer this one was really really nice as well again it's not setting in any of my fine lines it's not creasing the coverage is really really nice I do have very very dark circles underneath my eyes um, I'm a graduate student so that just comes with the territory but yeah so I really really love how it covered I would say that you probably only want to do one eye at a time because it did get a little bit tacky um, once it like set for too long so whenever you're blending it out that is the only downfall really and sometimes you have to like scrape inside the bottle just to get a little more um, product onto the wand but other than that i mean this thing is bomb i really really love it the next thing is the contouring palette this is the mega glow line i really love the shade right here it definitely um was able to set my under eye concealer and um Ugh, I can't talk and just the concealer whatever we're gonna stop right there it feels really really buttery super smooth it has really good pigmentation and I haven't played with this color yet on my skin but I have played with it in terms of swatching it and I absolutely love it so far the next thing that I have is the color icon bronzer right here again I have nothing negative to say about this you get so much product for your very little amount of money and the luminosity it just looks gorgeous on the skin I did put a little bit of highlighter but down here is where you can see the bronzer and I just love it again on the forehead it does have that luminous glow nothing bad to say at all nothing and then you guys saw how I was raving about the mascara. This mascara is honestly incredible. I love it. It doesn't clump your lashes. It adds so much volume and so much length. And yeah, and it's also really easy to use on the under eyelashes as well. Normally it takes me like so long to do my under eyelashes with mascara because I'm always like getting the mascara on my under eye area and so I have to go in with like a q-tip and all that kind of stuff but this one was really really easy to do so yeah that's all that I have for you guys I am really really pumped because I've been looking for a really good drugstore makeup brand that was cruelty free that was really good quality and had a wide range of products so the only thing that I don't think I have tried from wet and wild yet well one is that highlighter that everyone is raving about i haven't purchased it i think you can only get it online or at least i've like probably gone into 15 different drugstores haven't seen it not once um maybe i just had bad luck but i haven't tried that and i also haven't tried any of their lip products so i probably will be trying those soon if you guys have tried any of their lip products or that highlighter please comment in the comments down below because i want to know if it's worth me purchasing um even though i'll probably buy it anyways <laughs> all right well thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already then please subscribe to my channel all right that's it i'll see you guys next time bye